Let my prayer be set before your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Dearly beloved, we've come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others, <clears throat> those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation, and so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him. Let us kneel in silence as we are able, with penitent and obedient hearts, confess our sins to God, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We've not loved you with our whole heart, We've not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. And we may delight in your will, and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. By the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit the God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the age. Mm -hmm. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified throughout all the world. Psalms pointed for this evening are uh, Psalms, let me check again, I had it written down here somewhere, uh, versus, uh, I believe it's, I actually don't remember, so I want to make sure I get it right. Yeah, 27. So Psalm 27 through 29, 27 through 29. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers came upon me to eat up my flesh, it was they, my foes and my adversaries, who stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, Yet my heart shall not be afraid. And though war should rise up against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, one thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he shall keep me safe in his shelter. He shall hide me in the secrecy of his dwelling and set me high upon a rock. Even now he lifts up my head above my enemies round about me. Therefore, I will offer in his dwelling an oblation with sounds of great gladness.
I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hearken to my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy on me and answer me. You speak in your heart and say, seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor turn away your servant in displeasure. You have been my helper. Cast me not away. Do not forsake me, O God of my salvation, though my father and my mother forsake me. The Lord will sustain me. Show me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Deliver me not into the hand of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me, and also those who speak malice. What if I had not believed that I should see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living? O tarry and await the Lord's pleasure. Be strong, and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. O Lord, I call to you. My rock, do not be deaf to my cry. Lest if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayer when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands to your holy of holies. Do not snatch me away with the wicked or with the evildoers who speak peaceably with their neighbors while strife is in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their actions. According to the work of their hands, repay them and give them their just deserts. They have no understanding of the Lord's doings nor of the work of his hands. Therefore, he will break them down and not build them up. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I have been helped. Therefore, my heart dances for joy, and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge. Or is anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them and carry them forever. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Mount Hermon like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oaks trees writhe and strips the forests bare. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Our uh, reading for this evening, uh, Palm Sunday, uh, comes from the first reading, at least, comes from uh, Zechariah chapter 12, verses 9 through 11, followed by uh, chapter 13, verses 1 and 7 through 9. Just a few brief excerpts from the prophet Zechariah. Zechariah. Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah. There it is. Zechariah. 
beginning in chapter 12, 9 through 11. All right, 12, 9 through 11. And on that day, I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and pleas for mercy, so that when they look on me and on him whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him, as one weeps over a firstborn. On that day, the mourning in Jerusalem will be as great as the mourning for Hadad Rimon in the plain of Megiddo. On that day, there shall be a fountain opened for the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to cleanse them from sin and uncleanness. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, against the man who stands next to me, declares the Lord of hosts. Strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. I will turn my hand against the little ones. In the whole land, declares the Lord, two-thirds shall be cut off and perish and one third shall be left alive. And I will put this third into the fire and refine them as one refines silver and test them as gold is tested. They will call upon my name and I will answer them. I will say, they are my people. And they will say, the Lord is my God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. They will call upon my name, and I will answer them. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day forward, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come with the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as always before, so now and evermore, amen. They will call upon my name, and I will answer them. Our gospel lesson for this evening comes from the gospel according to St. Luke, uh, chapter... I believe it is uh, 19, verses 41 through 48. 19, chapter 19, verses 41 through the end of the chapter. Listen now to the gospel of our Lord. And when he drew near and saw the city, Jesus wept over it, saying, Would that you, even you, had known on this day the things that make for peace. But now they are hidden from your eyes. For the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up a barricade around you 
and surround you and hem you in on every side and tear you down to the ground, you and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another in you because you did not know the time of your visitation. And he entered the temple and he began to drive out those who sold, saying to them, it is written, my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it into a den of robbers. And he was teaching daily in the temple. The chief priests and the scribes and the principal men of the people were seeking to destroy him, but they did not find anything they could do for all the people were hanging on his words. The word of the Lord. I'm live video. You want to join me for prayer? Can we go, can we go to the park? Uh, you can ask uh, your mother, who's just upstairs on the phone, I think. <laughs> he knows thanks be to God, though. That part's fun. Ah, yeah. Oh, and that's a fitting way to begin Holy Week, then. He was teaching daily in the temple. And he was teaching daily in the temple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation under your care and guide us in the ways of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the, the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Now the collect of the day. Almighty and ever living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your son, our savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon himself our human nature and to suffer death upon the cross. Give us, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, triumphed over the powers of death and prepared for us a place in the new Jerusalem, grant that we who have this day given thanks for his resurrection may praise you in that city of which he is the light and where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom all the heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness shown to us and to all whom you have made. 
We bless you for our creation, preservation, for all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray that you would give us such an awareness of these and all your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we might show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but with our lives as well, by giving ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.